This video is brought to you by Apex Gaming PCs. If you're looking for a new computer to get into DCS, check out Apex Gaming PCs. This is where I got my laptop. A great place to customize a computer for yourself in any way you like that fits your budget. And you can now use Affirm so you can pay month to month so it doesn't hurt your wallet. So don't forget to check out Apex Gaming PCs. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. We are here in the Sukhoi 30 SM. This is the Russian variant. There's my wingman over there. And what we're gonna do is tell him to pincer to the left. Go ahead and do that, boss. There we go. Good man. All right, and then I'll just tell him to engage the bandits in front of us. The bandits in front of us are F-15 EXs. So, modernized F-15s against modernized Russian flankers. And this is what I love to see. I like to see peer-to-peer -peer engagements. We are firing the R-77-1 and the R-27 EA, which is a, an active radar variant of the R-27 ER Fox 1. This is the Fox 3 variant of it, the R27EA. Um, so we're climbing to altitude here in order to engage these guys, the F-15s. And I have this guy here in a Tito US lock right now. Now these F-15s should be problematic to us and we should be problematic to them. It is a peer-to-peer -peer engagement, uh, which means, you know, we're very close in terms of avionics, weapons capability, um, aircraft, all that stuff. Aerodynamics, if you get into a dogfight, all that stuff is very, very similar. Uh, with the exception that I have thrust vectoring and they do not. Um, but when it comes to BVR, thrust vectoring doesn't really play a major role uh, for the most part. Maybe at super high altitudes if you want to change direction quickly it becomes useful there but other than that I don't see too much application when it comes to BVR. Which is coincidentally one of the reasons why the US Air Force moved away from super maneuverability and uh, stuck with you know energy management, energy retention uh, rather. And you know, the Russians didn't believe in that philosophy and they continued with super maneuverability. Um, but it's optional. You know, you use it when you need it. Super maneuverability sometimes can get you killed. Okay, Fox 3 from our wingman here. He's engaging. I'm still waiting for my launch authorization. There's another Fox 3 from him. So he has missiles out on both of our F-15 EXs here. Uh, I have a lock, launch authorization, uh, that tells me I'm in range, and FOX-3, uh, that's an R-77-1. The Dash 1 is supposed to be very similar in range to the Amram Charlie Dash 5. So theoretically, this is as peer-to-peer -peer as it's going to get. So we're going to go ahead and crank off to the left here. Uh, our wingman has also been launched on. 
and he is defending. So we should be good as long as we both defend and start dropping our altitude pretty significantly here. Now he's kind of freaking out. He needs to chill out. Oh. Uh, dude, my wingman just got killed. I'm in danger. <laughs> okay, uh... This is not going exactly as I planned. My wingman just died a fiery death. Um, I have no missiles out on me, so I'm going to go ahead and recommit here. The problem is, you know, you don't hear any missile tones or RWR notifications, but that doesn't mean that there isn't a TWS AMRAM, you know, that's that's been launched and is on its way here. I need to see if I can find these guys on radar here. I think I'm looking in the right place. Uh, this is going to become a problem. There we go. Got him. And... Launch authorization, Fox 3, and defending. Okay. Saw one of them on radar, which means there's another one around here, or the other one's dead, but I don't see any splashes from their side, so there might be two of them left still. I really don't know, um, but as far as I know, I'm fighting one guy for sure. There's a uh, there's my crash site for my wingman, big sad. The other problem is, oh, that, that's another problem. <laughs> gonna have to defend this one here. I was gonna say one of the bigger problems here is that there's so many AMRAMs being fired at me. I'm not gonna be able to bleed the AMRAMs here before I probably get hit by one of these things. You know, like I'm pretty sure they're carrying like 12 AMRAMs or something. It's something insane. And as I go, if I bleed enough AMRAMs, uh, I can, you know, get to the merge with him. And I feel confident the flanker can kill him in the merge. Uh, but with 12 AMRAMs, he's just going to push me off all day long. I got him on radar here. Fox 3. And we're defending again. Hopefully that hits him in the face. I'm now confident I'm fighting just one guy. And there's an incoming missile. It's on my uh, on my six basically here, and we'll go ahead and recommit. And another missile. Continue defending here. Uh, this situation is devolving very quickly into a scenario I don't like. I can already foresee a bunch of AMRAMs raining down on my head until I'm dead. Gotta find this guy on radar here and kill him. 
There we go, got him. Fox 3, and we're defending. And he has a missile out on me. Uh, the missile just hit right in front of me here. I can see the explosion on the ground. You guys see that smoke plume? So things are getting a little bit hairy here. As I continue to defend. Amram after Amram. We're clear. I wonder if these are even pushing him off, the missiles I'm throwing at him. He just seems to recommit and keep shooting at me. Another missile. Jeez, dude. Fox 3. And defending again. Now I'm gonna run out of missiles here pretty soon <laughs> before that thing does. Oh, no. Oh, I got hit. Oh, he got me. Ah. Uh. He got me. wonder if I can find Ivan, my wingman. We can walk home together. Alright guys, so we have our little TACV review. We have our two F-15 EXs here carrying a whole bunch of AMRAMs. And we got two Sukhoi 30s over here, me and my wingman. Uh, first AMRAM looks like it's fired by the leader... Uh, at about 41 miles uh, and looks like they got kind of like a trail thing going on and whereas the two of us are pretty tight together and right around the same launch parameters maybe a couple more miles forward uh, wingman starts firing his R77s those are dash ones as you can see uh, and then he gets another one off 77 dash one and this engagement's about to kick off. He really should start defending here. Uh, once you've fired the missiles, there's no need to stay up here, right? Um, there's a Fox 3 from me, 77-1. So as you can see, we got three Russian miss missiles in the air and two uh, AMRAMs, uh, Charlie-5s here. And so the two of us now start defending. And you see, he just doesn't drop his altitude enough. Yes, he chaffs correctly. Yes, he tries to go cold. All of that stuff is great. But due to him not reducing his altitude enough, uh, he gets hit here by this AMRAM that came off uh, the... Who did that come off of? Uh, that comes off the leader. So this is the leader's AMRAM kills my wingman um, interesting fact my wingman's r77-1 kills the leader so they kill each other in the first leaf of the engagement which is pretty interesting you don't see that often uh, so now it's me versus the wingman f15 ex and this is this is peer-to-peer -peer, right so things like this are to be expected everyone's for the most part, fairly equal in terms of capability. Um, and then here we have a, a recommit, and I quickly get my AMRAM off, or sorry, not my AMRAM, my 77-1. Uh, uh, he begins defending that. And he does a pretty decent defensive maneuver there. What's he do? He notches it out. Is that what he does? Yeah. That missile is tracking right until it bites off on some chaff here and it's gone. Oh, it doesn't even have energy. There you can, never mind. See, this is why angles are important. So it's tracking him. And then he puts the chaff out. This is where it bites off on chaff. And then on top of all that, it has no energy. So it just falls to the ground. Uh, this is again because the eagle has dragged it into dense air. Uh, the missile has lost its energy. And just ends up hitting the ground there 
Okay, I've also done the same thing as you can see I'm basically on the deck here. I'm pretty scared of those Amrams, defending very generously. And so here we are inside the Mar now. So these are nine mile launches. Uh, he fires his, I fire mine. I turn away, he turns back into the Mar. This is very dangerous. But he does this notching thing and puts out his chaff and reduces his altitude, which makes my missile lead him, which ends up hitting the ground. So getting even lower, you can lead missiles into the ground. Um, I'm over here. I try to recommit, and I get the the RWR from this thing again. And I'm like, okay, you know, I'm not going to take the chance that I, I recommitted too early. You know? So I just turn away for a couple seconds, and I recommit again. Because I have my suspicions that this is not another missile. You know? I'm like, this is probably the first missile, and I, I'm, I'm just going to go away again go cold for a couple seconds again just to make sure i don't turn into it directly um recommit here fox three five miles wow and so we are well within the mar here and if i knew that i wouldn't have done this cold thing i shouldn't have done that um i had to go for the decoy uh, however due to I, like, look at this. Oh, yeah, you don't want to be doing this. You don't want to be taking into your your life into your hands like this and just praying to God that you're just slightly faster than the AMRAM. I, like, I narrowly get away with this. Um, how does he defeat my R-77 here? It looks like it hits a tree or a building or something. Okay, once again inside the Mar at five miles. And we both fire missiles at each other. This one probably hits me. Yeah. Splash one. He gets me here. Inside the Mar. He should have hit me the first time. I was lucky to get away with it the first time. Um, you're not going to get away with it twice. And I'm getting hit by that missile. And he is also inside the Mar, unfortunately for him. And so before he can even hit the, the notch and try to chaff that missile off, it gets, gets him right in the stomach. Splash 1 F-15EX. Everybody's dead. <laughs> Everybody's dead. Um, and this is Ivan, my wingman, and his Rio, or Wizzo, or whatever you want to call it. Uh, so, there you go. Peer-to-peer -peer engagement. Everybody's dead. <laughs> Alright, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.